Ever felt like you're holding a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, only to find out you're actually in line at the DMV? That's how many IT pros describe the journey from getting their CompTIA cert to landing their dream job. Today, we're cracking open the secret playbook on turning that shiny new cert into a thriving IT career. Buckle up, tech enthusiasts. This video might just flip everything you thought you knew about breaking into the IT world upside down. Whether you're clutching that fresh off the preener CompTIA cert or you're knee deep in practice exams, you're in the right place. We're about to bridge the gap between acing that exam and acing your IT career. But let's be real for a second. Getting that cert is like leveling up in a game. It feels awesome. But then you realize there's a whole new level of challenges waiting for you. And the big boss battle? Landing that first IT job. I see comments like this all the time. I see a lot of I passed, but are you finding the jobs though? If you're nodding your head right now, thinking that's me, don't worry, you're not alone. And more importantly, you're in the right place. First, let's talk numbers, because who doesn't love some good stats? The average salary for CompTIA A plus certified pros is a cool $70,000. Not too shabby for an entry level cert, right? And here's the kicker. IT jobs are growing twice as fast as the overall job market. In fact, as of May 2024, there were nearly 427,000 active tech job postings in the US alone. So yeah, the jobs are definitely out there, but there's always a but, isn't there? Here's the catch. Getting that first gig can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Many of you are probably facing the classic chicken and egg problem. They want experience, but how do I get experience without a job? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. It's not just about the cert. Don't get me wrong. That CompTIA cert is your golden ticket to get your foot in the door. But once you're there, employers are looking for more than just your ability to ace an exam. So what do they want? I recently chatted with some IT hiring managers, and here's the scoop. They're looking for problem solvers, team players, and people who can explain tech stuff without sounding like a robot. One manager told me, I can teach technical skills, but I can't teach someone to have a good attitude. Now, let's break down some common entry-level IT positions you might be gunning for. One, help desk technician. This is like the boot camp of IT. You'll be on the front lines, helping users with their tech problems. It's a great way to build your troubleshooting skills and learn how to communicate with non-tech folks. Two, junior network administrator. Here, you'll be helping to maintain and optimize computer networks. It's perfect if you love the idea of being the person who keeps everything connected. Three, junior systems administrator. This role involves maintaining and updating computer systems. If you enjoy tinkering with operating systems and software, this could be your jam. Four, junior cybersecurity analyst. With cyber threats on the rise, this field is booming. You'll help protect an organization's network and systems from cyber attacks. Five, IT support specialist. Similar to help desk, but often with a broader scope. You might be handling both hardware and software issues. Now let's talk about your job hunting strategy. First up, your resume. Please, for the love of all things binary, don't just list your cert and call it a day. Instead, think about projects you've done, even if they're personal ones. Built a home lab? Put it on there. Helped your aunt set up her smart home? That counts too. Here's a pro tip. Tailor your resume for each job application. Use keywords from the job description. If they're looking for someone with troubleshooting skills, make sure that phrase is in your resume. It's not about gaming the system. It's about speaking their language. And when it comes to job hunting, don't just sit behind your screen firing off applications into the void. Get out there, virtually at least. Join IT forums, attend virtual tech meetups. You'd be surprised how many jobs are filled through connections. LinkedIn isn't just for humble bragging, it's a powerful networking tool. Use it. Now, the dreaded interview. Here's a tip. When they ask you a technical question, don't just blurt out the textbook answer. Walk them through your thought process. They want to see how you think, not just what you know. And when they inevitably ask, do you have any questions for us? Please, please have some ready. Ask about their tech stack, their biggest challenges, 
and their company culture. Show them you're genuinely interested. Let me share a couple of success stories to inspire you. Sarah got her CompTIA A plus cert, but was struggling to land a job. So she volunteered to help a local nonprofit with their IT needs. She set up their network, trained staff on basic cybersecurity, and even created a simple inventory system. Guess what? That experience landed her a help desk role at a mid-sized company, and now, two years later, she's their lead network administrator. Then there's Mike. He couldn't find a job, so he started a tech YouTube channel sharing what he learned from his CERT studies. He broke down complex topics into bite-sized videos. An IT manager saw his videos and was impressed by his ability to explain technical concepts clearly. He hired Mike on the spot for a junior systems administrator role. And let's not forget about Jamal. He took a slightly different route. After getting his cert, he started freelancing on platforms like Upwork, doing small IT projects. This not only gave him experience, but also helped him build a portfolio. A client was so impressed with his work that they offered him a full-time position as an IT support specialist. The moral of these stories? Sometimes you gotta create your own experience. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go out and create them. But landing the job is just the beginning. The tech world moves fast and you need to keep up. Set aside time each week to learn something new. Maybe it's a new programming language or perhaps it's diving deeper into cloud technologies. Websites like Coursera, EDX, and even good old YouTube are gold mines of knowledge. And don't forget about soft skills. Work on your communication, time management, and teamwork skills. In IT, you're not just working with machines, you're working with people too. So, what's your next move? Well, keep learning for sure. But also start applying what you know. Set up a home lab, contribute to open source projects, or help out local businesses with their tech needs. Remember that CompTIA cert? It's not the end of your journey. It's just the beginning. It's your passport to the exciting world of IT. Now it's up to you to explore that world. Before we wrap up, here's a quick checklist for your job hunt. One, polish that resume. Showcase projects, not just certs. Network, 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 online and offline. Keep learning. The tech world doesn't stand still, neither should you. Create your own experience. Volunteer, freelance, whatever it takes. Prepare for interviews. Practice explaining complex tech in simple terms. Stay persistent. Job hunting can be tough, but don't give up. Be open to different roles. Your dream job might come in an unexpected package. So are you ready to turn that cert into a career? Trust me, if you put in the effort, that dream IT job is just around the corner. The tech world is waiting for fresh talent like you. You've got the knowledge, you've got the passion. Now go out there and show them what you've got. And hey, if this video just saved you from a potential career face plant, why not return the favor? Smash that like button like it's a pesky bug in your code. Subscribe faster than a CPU processes data. It's basically installing an update for your career. But wait, there's more. For an extra boost to your IT career rocket fuel, head over to techvaultacademy.com. We've got practice exams that'll make your brain buff, study guides smoother than a freshly defragged hard drive, and a community of tech enthusiasts ready to debug your career questions. Remember, every IT pro you admire started exactly where you are now. The difference is, they took that first step. So what are you waiting for? Your IT career adventure starts now. Until next time, Keep your code clean, your skills sharp, and your tech dreams big. This is Tech Vault Academy, signing off.